Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the fourth episode of my mini-series where we are making a simple yet beautiful um, soft cover junk journal from start to finish and I'm showing you my whole process to make this. So uh, we've already uh, seen how to make the cover and inside pockets in the first episode. Then we chose the pages for our signatures and embellished them in the second signature. And um, we made some simple and pretty ephemera pieces for our journals in the third episode. All the episodes will, will be linked below for you in case you want to catch up on them. And today we are making some finishing touches and we are also going to be binding our signatures, so our pages into the cover. So as you can see me doing here is just choosing some uh, pay, uh, some, some fabric scraps, some um, lace scraps, a little bit of sari silk. So what I'm going to do with these is just make a like very simple tabs for my pages and I'm going to be sewing them uh, onto my pages with my sewing machine. And uh, you don't have to use a sewing machine to make tabs like this. You can glue them to the pages, you can um, staple them, and um, I'm just I'm using sewing machine because I like the um, the texture of it. So yeah, so I'm just choosing some scraps and I'm going to um, to just make little clusters in a way and here I'm showing you what I've chosen so some uh, some lace that I'm going to cut out those flowers of then some trims some some more lace trims some scraps of fabric that colors you know match my my journals and yeah and here you can see uh, how it looks when it's all finished. So what I did, like I said, I just made very little clusters with some of these flowers I cut out of the lace and some fabrics and I also made some just messy ruffles that I sewn directly to my pages and cut out some lace pieces and also sewn them directly to my pages. So nothing like too complicated, nothing too difficult and definitely did not spend much time on it but I like the textures that it adds, I like the you know the side view of the journal when all of these tabs are sticking out and yeah I, I always try to try to add fabric tabs to my journals as they add just something really really pretty and they are not difficult to uh, to make at all. Like here you can see I've just sewn a piece of lace directly onto the page and you can do the same with glue or with staples you just staple it and I like using staples too, by the way. Uh, I think they also add nice texture. So yeah, there's just um, there's uh, a lot of possibilities. So now we are going to be sewing the pages into the covers. And I will link below a tutorial that I have on a three hole pamphlet stitch, a very sort of thorough step by step one, because this one he uh, I'm also going to be showing you exactly how I did it. But of course, this video is a bit fast forwarded. Uh, I, I filmed it some time ago uh, when I was still making the fast forward videos. So uh, so yeah, so I will link the sort of craft with me very thorough step by step tutorial for you below. And so what I'm doing here is I'm just making a template for my um, for my signature. I took a piece of um, paper that is the exact height of my cover and of my pages and I folded it in half and then in half again which gave me three sort of points and I marked them with my pen and this is where I'm going to be making my holes for my uh, needle and thread to go through. Now I'm just checking if all of my pages are placed the way I want them to be to be sewn in. I'm using this big paper 
clip bulldog clip to to hold them in place making sure you know all is lined up with the cover and now you can see i'm going to be putting the template exactly in the middle of my journal making sure it's placed it's again in line with the with the pages so it doesn't stick out on the top uh, or on the bottom and i'm taking my all here and just poking holes um, in the exact exact um, sort of places where my my dots are on the paper and I'm making sure I'm going all the way through the pages and through the covers so like you can see here they all just uh, you know sticks out of the cover so I'm, I'm sure I went through now I'm taking linen thread and um, I'm taking three lengths of the cover and linen thread is my preferred a sort of um, thread to bind with because it's very uh, it's very durable and um, and it's also quite uh, smooth so it goes smoothly through the holes that I have and I'm going through the uh, from starting from the inside through the middle hole then up to the um, top hole down all the way down to the down um, to the bottom hole and back from the inside uh, through the middle hole. I'm, I'm using my pliers here to help me pull the needle out um, when you know sometimes when you have a lot of pages in your signature it can get a little bit hard to to pull your needle and thread uh, out so you can use the pliers to help you do this. Now I'm tying my uh, my thread and this is the moment when I make sure everything is tight um, and that my signature isn't loose like here I'm checking the back uh, so the cover uh, the spine as well and I'm just making a double knot here and I'm losing my strings quite long because we are going to be adding some beads, beads on them later uh, to just add some, some fun to them. So I, I did the second one uh, off camera just to save us some time. Um, but I basically did the same steps and here I have my uh, my little uh, container with beads I have two of them actually and in a moment you will see that I decide this one is not enough for me so I pull out the second one as well and I'm just choosing beads that kind of um, match the color of the cover and um, I think I put three beads per string so three beads so that it makes six beads per journal like here i'm varying the colors and the sizes and now i'm just making a double knot um, on the on the sort of end of the string and i'm going to snip off the the longer bit but uh yeah so did the same thing with the with the other B, um, with the other string, sorry, and here you can see how it looks. I think it looks so cute, and it adds something, just just a little touch of prettiness, you know, uh, to to our um, journals. And also, I just uh, if you if you know my channel and if you know my journal, you know I love adding charms to my journals. And uh, I usually do uh, hardcover journals, and the charm hangs from the spine. But in this case, this little uh, charm beaded charms on the strings are just as perfect and as pretty. So yeah, so here is the second one that we did and now I also decided to add some interest to my tabs to my fabric tabs that we've sewn uh, in the uh, beginning of this video and so I'm choosing some more beads and some charms this time and I'm putting them on ball pins so these are like safety pins only with a bulb shape and they are so good to to put some uh, some little beads and charms on and I'm just uh, attaching it to to the fabrics so I think I have three 
fabric tabs on each journal. So I'm not counting, you know, like the ruffles or the lace pieces, uh, but the uh, three three fabric tabs on each journal, and I'm doing the same thing. And for example, here I'm just putting beads, so you don't have to have charms. Uh, beads on a ball pin look just as pretty, um, and yeah, they just give a little bit more interest and a little bit more texture to to the side of of your journal. So now again, the third tab, some more uh, charms and beads. Again, I'm trying to vary the colors, the patterns, the uh, the size of the beads to keep it as interesting as possible. Okay, and I did the other one off camera again, but you will see it up close in the next episode, which is going to be the flip through. And now we are going to be making closures for our journals. So uh, what I have here is my crocodile, some eyelets and some sari silk. And I'm measuring my cover and just marking with my pencil where the middle of the cover is. Now I'm going to make sure, like you can see here, that the middle does not sort of, um, that when I punch through the cover, I won't be punching through the pockets that we made inside in the first episode of this series. Now I'm using my crocodile and guys, I can't recommend a crocodile enough, especially if you use a lot of eyelids and especially if you use them on something more sort of thick and sturdy than just a thin card because it cuts through two millimeter book board like through butter. I mean, uh, it's a game changer for me. I know it's pricey. I've been saving money. Uh, I'd been saving money uh, for some time um, before I, I could afford it, but, but it's definitely worth it. And so uh, and so I chose this, these cute uh, flower eyelets. I got them from AliExpress. Um, I used my crocodile to attach them to the covers. And now you can see I only have a, a hole and an eyelet on the front of the cover. You can have uh, two uh, eyelets on the top, on the front and on the back. But this time I decided to go with just one and this is going to be a sort of wraparound closure. So I am cutting quite a long piece of my sari silk um, and putting it through an eyelet and I start from the inside cover, now making a little loop and that's basically it so it's the simplest closure ever and yet it still looks pretty and effective and I use it very often for my journals it, it's just you know it's it's pretty and especially if you your sorry silk or trim or whatever you choose just fits uh, uh, matches the colors on the cover it it you know, it's a, an additional decoration even. So I'm doing the same with the second one with this beautiful, beautiful blue sari silk that I have and doing the same thing um, with, with the closure. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, whether you are a beginner uh, in making journals or you are a seasoned junk journaler, I hope you found it interesting and easy to follow. And if you did, and if you would like to see more, uh, I would so much appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I have something very, very interesting coming up next week and I can't, sh can't wait uh, to share it with you. And I also have so many uh, ideas to share with you guys so if you like journaling and making journals and flip throughs and just creative memory keeping um, yeah just subscribe to my channel so so you don't miss uh, miss any videos that I post and yeah thank you in advance for your support um, and for your lovely comments it's yeah, it, it just it keeps me motivated to to keep making these videos. So what I'm doing here uh, is the fun part. I'm just clipping my ephemera pieces that we made in a previous episode. I'm just making sure um, I, I clip them on pages where they don't cover up some embellishments that we made and they they match, you know, the sort of adjacent pages. And um, yeah, so it's the the 
finishing touch you know the 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 part that i always do last after i've sewn my uh, my signatures in and it, it's so fun and it also adds a little bit more decoration even because like you will see here in a moment we've clipped some tags to our pages and the starry silk from the tabs sticks out uh, on the top of the cover and it's just it looks pretty so so yeah so just chose some pages i used the tag spot the the Rita Donnelly I think was was the lady who who came up with this with this amazing tax spot idea that the flip out uh, on the corner of the page um this one <laughs> that's the one I'm talking about so just putting a tab uh, a tag in there and clipping the envelope and the other tags that we made uh, so again I hope you yeah, I hope you enjoyed it uh, Keep an eye on the flip through, which is coming very, very soon, um, where you will be able to see all the details in a sort of more like a detailed and slow, uh, slower uh, way. And um, yeah, leave me a comment if you enjoyed it. Um, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.